Hi, I'm Slasher here with Kelly Milkies, a former commentator of GSL, now here with Own3D and the girls of StarCraft, also Team Marn, here at her first ever MLG at the National Championships in Providence. So how does it feel to be your first MLG? Well, I think MLG is one of the most exciting events to be at and, you know, this is only the first day, but second day will only get better. How have you enjoyed your stay so far? Um, Providence is really cold. So it's not suitable for me because I grew up in like a summer country. I must say, this is not Orlando, Anaheim, or Dallas. It is a little chilly here. So we just had the uh, Global Invitationals finish up, and Naniwa was able to take out MVP and Nest T. What are your thoughts? Well, Naniwa played really well, and I think I thought like the base trade from MVP was really stupid. Um, playing against Nessie, no idea why Nessie's been playing like that these days. I mean, BlizzCon. Um, the finest, it was really weird. I think everybody who watched the game agreed that something weird was going on, especially after the first attack, and he dropped Bane Links into the main. That was just stupid. And he lost to, like, Huck at GSL, uh, like, last week or something, a few days ago, and that was, he completely threw the game away. He flew, like, a flock of Mutal Disc over a bunch of Link Stalkers, so no idea what the hell that was. And the last game over there, he pulled all his drones out in game 3. I mean, for like a first or second place match. Not sure if he's in a slum or... I mean, Nessie is my idol, you know. I love him, he's my favorite Zerg player, but... What the hell is he doing? So you actually think uh, Nessie screwed up more than Naniwa beat him? Uh, I'm not saying that, you know, Naniwa didn't play well. I think it's more of like Nessie played really badly. So that was that. I mean... Do you see he pulled like all his drones off his drone line? What the hell was that? I guess we'll see going forward in the tournament. Now Nest T has to go through the open bracket. Uh, so does MVP. How do you feel about their chances after uh, these early losses? Well, I think like the Korean players in general have a really high chance of making past the uh, open brackets because there are so many, I wouldn't say bad players, but um, casual players in the first place and if they meet casuals and then they meet like semi-pros and only probably near the end would they start meeting real American pro players so I I think that MVP and Nasty actually both have chances of making it to the pool play but the thing is there are so many Koreans here trying out for it so it's really hard to say we have Idra, Naniwa and Hawk as the top three seeds against all of these Korean players how do you think those three are going to fare against this, the rest? You know what? Look at your hair, and you know what's happening. <laughs> you have to cut your hair for making bets against foreigners. So you actually give the foreigners a pretty good chance. Yeah, I come. I really, really think so. I mean, you know, honestly, in the first place, when I thought MLG was inviting GSL players, a lot of like us and the pro players thought that MLG was kind of spoiling the, the the competition for American players because they made it so hard for them. You know, but seeing the results in the last few MLGs and other tournaments like IPR and DreamHack. I had to say like we all had to eat our words and think that, you know, admit that MLG did a really, really good long-term foresight to actually bring it, bring in Korean players because it really heightens the competition and make American players want to practice harder. So now, what are your predictions of top three uh, for the finals and who's going to win? Um, the thing is like based on pool play and looking at the results, I think that First place, it would be a foreigner. Really? And then second and third would be Koreans. Any names specifically? Come on, you gotta throw it out here, putting you on the spot. Um, looking at how like everyone is playing now, I actually haven't seen Chris play this MLG, but he didn't really do well in his GSL match, so I'm not really sure what is going to happen. I think, I think the, all the top three seeds like Naniwa, Greg, and Chris they have a really high chance of making first seed, all three of them, because I think Greg and Naniwa are playing really well now, and Naniwa just came back from Korea, and he's probably really angry because he didn't make it for Code A, so I think he's gonna unleash everything he has this MLG. And they're doing pretty well like emotionally, because I feel emotionally, mentally, it's really important for players besides just playing. So all three of them are in a really good mental state, so big chance. So what do you look forward to doing here most this weekend? Um, making everyone pass out in my room again, playing Mafia with TL, and <laughs> and hanging out, and cheering, and losing my voice, most of that. So if you want to pass out in Kelly's room, that's what she is looking to do here the most. I am Slasher here at MLG. 
Talk to you guys later.